Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 37 of House 5 of the Drifter Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And at the end of the last part, we gave uh, both Fabian and Fred makeovers, and I did say I was going to try and do a 24-hour stream so that it would help boost her fame so that maybe she would get to level 4. So we're going to start that now, and she was going to go over and talk to... Well, we're not going to try for a baby. We can discuss local fishing spots, and he looks like he started another uh, painting all on his own. Um, hmm. We can discuss logic puzzles. The things he, she wants to do that are romantic are things that would interfere with his painting, which is why I don't want to do that. We can blow a kiss, Romance? since she wants to obviously do something romantic with him. And the ones that are there don't particularly work, so we're going to brighten day. And again, I guess because she's confident, so... That's why she can blow. I think we already did blow a kiss, but we'll do it again. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Romance. That was from before. So we can compliment appearance. And we can't offer massage. We can discuss gourmet dishes. And again, the whole... Yeah, lots of things don't really work. We'll serenade. And sweet talk. <laughs> now that they have two children and a toddler, I guess it interfered anyways. Unless he finished Profess Undying Love. Uh, did he finish this? Let's see. He's all flirty. Yeah, he didn't finish it. But he also is tense because he needs to go out. Uh, so why don't we... Why don't we compliment... A Parents and we have bills, so I guess we need to pay our bills. So we don't want our power to go off. So let's come over here and pay the bills. Yeah, I can see why you want to complain about them. They're pretty high. <laughs> do you not have the frugal lot trait? So do you not have the frugal? You do have frugal, and if you have it, I can't imagine Emmeline doesn't have it. She does have it. Yeah, pretty high bills, I have to say. I guess the house is worth quite a lot. I suppose. But it's not like they can't afford them. Oh, he did a masterpiece. Luckily, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's really expensive. <laughs> he can paint. He can sell this one. Oh, no, wrong person. You're paying the bills, and then you can go sell to art gallery for this one. And then since you're not actually tense anymore, we can compliment appearance. I don't really know why you need to um, we can do a suave kiss. I don't really know why you need to... Uh, share emotional burdens. She doesn't seem to actually have that as an issue. Brighten day. And we can offer a massage. And what I'm trying to do is get them to go. <laughs> um, go cloud gaze or star gaze. Because then he gets his going outside. Oh look he got a little level 5 of charisma. There we go. Sure, sure. So they're going to go do some cloud gazing. And this one is worth a lot. So it's going to be sold on the uh, yard sale table is what we'll do. Just because he needed, he, I noticed he was tense before. So that's why I want to make sure that he gets a little bit of cloud gazing in. And what does he needs to do? He needs to help a child with homework and have a child max any skill. And does she... She's honestly not going to get any of this stuff done. So we're going to take her off of this aspiration. And why don't we check out the successful lineage ourselves? She needs to help a child with homework herself. Or also have a child earn an A in high school, which won't happen until Flora becomes a high school student. And have a child max. Oh, look, we have a little, little one awake. What are his needs? He is... A little hungry. He needs a little bit of fun, which he looks... What's he doing with mummy? He's going to go watch mummy. Okay, well, you kind of need some food, and you kind of need to have to be potty trained. So, Edward, your needs... Your social is going up. I would have thought it was max with all the flirting and stuff we had been doing, but maybe it had been pretty low, and I didn't realize it. So why don't you come here and potty train Fabian? Uh, you're good. Well, you will go party, potty train him. And it is now Winterfest. 
So we're potty training and you can come here and you're actually a little bit hungry. Oh, she's up. You can go say, is that good, the what you're eating? No, it's spoiled. We're going to throw that away. We can uh, talk about dreams. We can teach about, uh, we could have taught, well, we still can teach about re responsibility, but we're not going to. Why don't we cook a, why don't we just cook a grand meal right away? We'll cook a grand breakfast. We're not going to use fruit. So we're going to go cook a grand breakfast. You're a bit hungry. So why don't we just get that part done with right away? And I'm pretty sure it just occurred to me. Yeah, Flora is in the club and I don't know whether we can get... Yeah, we can. A lot of times I find the children can't just be added. I can't, I just recently had someone, they were added, able to be added. Okay, you're potty on the potty. So why are you talking to the plant? You need to come and potty train him like I asked you to do. I asked you to potty train. Oh, and look, he's awake. Fred is up and he's going to go play with the Oh, look, he's level two, so he can use the potty chair, but he won't use it automatically. And let's go potty train him, and we have this breakfast coming along. We're having a 24-hour live stream of our winter fest traditions. <laughs> it should cover it pretty much. So she and he is hungry. So when you're finished with that, you should... Uh, give him something little to eat. Why don't we give some, look for something that might be, a blackberry would be tasty probably, and a cherry would be tasty. There you go. <laughs> Dragon fruit is tasty, but not with the, uh, <laughs> the outside, you kind of need to take the fruit out of the in, out of the outside. It's kind of hard, scaly shell. To me, it just tastes like kind of like kiwi. To be honest, it's not my favorite, but my kids love dragon fruit. Anyways, so <laughs> let's see. She is hungry. Well, oh my goodness, look how filthy this is. You need to. If the butler's not going to come clean it, butler, I thought you were like. You like to clean things. Usually she's pretty good, so we'll let her go. Oh, she's coming out here to water the garden. So she's doing something useful anyways. Look how that looks really disgusting when it's dirty. Much more so than some of the other counters, I have to say. And she's having... Is that something that's going to spoil right away? No, it's spoiled. Okay, don't eat spoiled food. I'm going to... More choices unless that was the last of it. Yeah, see, it's not spoiled in there, but it spoils as soon as they take it out. <laughs> She's doing the ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna, you're not gonna eat that, are you, Emmeline? <laughs> I hope not. Okay, don't eat that, Emmeline. Why don't we, um, why don't we ask if good or bad and that's not really what i want to do can we give her food from inventory or is that only for toddlers <laughs> because it would be kind of nice to stop her from eating that food uh let's um ask about day okay she's not eating it good because i don't really want her to eat it so we're gonna throw that away and we are going to uh, call the grand meal. Now that we have a, a breakfast grand meal, which has a omelet and I guess a bacon and pancakes. I'm trying to look at what I, I don't really look at it that closely. I don't know what that's in the middle. But anyways, come have your grand meal. And do we have an ice cream maker? We do, because I think I might make some... Oh, the butler must be taking that dirty dish. And she's hungry. I don't know that Fred's really hungry, but he's going to eat anyways because he was called to the grand meal. And I know Fabian was hungry, and that's why I tried to tide him over with the fruit because I knew that we were going to have the grand meal soon so that he would be able to eat that. And why don't you uh, share Winterfest spirit? Share ideas belly laugh when we have mail 
probably just stuff to do with being celebrities. So everybody has food. Did you eat? You haven't eaten, but you're not actually really very hungry, are you? So we're going to put that in the fridge, and you can eat something later when you're hungry. For now, you can uh, enthuse about cats. Speaking of which, I guess we need to get a cat at some point, which I still haven't done yet. Uh, tell unbelievable story. And let's see. Friendly. Ask if good or bad. And share a winter fest spirit. And why don't we actually... Go under club since we're sitting right here. We'll invite him to our club. And uh, see if he joins. Yes, he did. Good. So for when we go off the lot and we have a club gathering, he can be in our club. Oh, and she, of course, is dazed from the food coma of eating that grand meal. So we're going to put that into the garbage. And I guess we need some gifts and possibly a tree. So I think I'm going to rearrange temporarily, like you do sometimes at <laughs> Christmas. I'm going to stick that into the attic, the non-existent attic. And we are going to... Um, no, we don't need that. That's not what I meant to grab. We'll get that for decorating. And then we're going to get... We don't really need to get a large pile of presents because you can add presents to the tree and just open them from there. And do we have a presents? Do we have presents anywhere? No, but we have various things in our inventory. We had two coffee makers. Um, yeah, a couple of couple of things, which we'll just leave there for now. I wasn't looking for that. I was looking if we had a pile of presents. Is there anywhere we can? put this pile of presents? I'm not seeing anywhere. I mean, we could get rid of the uh, coffee table temporarily. Oh, looks like there's the butler's put something here. So we'll put that up here, and we're going to put that in our inventory, and we're going to then get this pile of presents and put it out there. Okay. So we are going to add a present. And then we are going to place a present pile under the tree. <laughs> And, uh, admire lights that aren't even on there. A light tree. No, we're not going to light the tree. We need to decorate it, actually. I don't know how you can admire lights. There's no lights on there. So we're going to put a... Some ornaments on. We'll put some red and gold ornaments. There we go. So it's starting to look a little bit more like a Christmas tree. And why don't you... Oh, you can't make that baked Alaska. Can you make the baked Alaska? No, you can't either. So no one can make the baked Alaska. <laughs> uh, which I've made a decent amount of money selling baked Alaskas on the yard sale table. <laughs> but we're not really needing to do that. And why don't you come here and scavenge for parts? So we'll go probably to the park and have her. So she's... She completed? Did she like that tradition? Did any of them? Oh, he liked it. Oh, I didn't even realize he liked it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's good that we we got him to eat the grand meal. Since I find, you know, the, the father winter part is not really going to work because I can't control them. And you made this tea. You should empty that. But why don't you craft some taste of diet ice cream to, to help everybody... You know, with their food coma and slimming down after their holiday meals. Especially because there's probably going to be... I don't know, actually. I don't think there's a holiday meal with the... I don't know if I added the holiday meal to the New Year's tradition. Because sometimes I put stuff in the New Year's tradition to make it easier for everybody to do. So he's going to work on that. We probably aren't going to buy a puppet theater. We could, when we're renovating the basement, add a puppet theater down there, I suppose. So I just wish it didn't take so long to decorate the tree, I have to say. And I don't know that it's, I don't know that I've noticed it's faster when you add other people helping with. But uh, yeah, I'm just not really sure. So hopefully this will actually help with the decorating tradition. So um, let's decorate with uh, a topper. We'll do a, I guess that. Oh, we can't decorate with anybody, so we're not going to actually decorate with anybody. There's no... Well, we can, but there's really no point. 
Deco decorate. Decorate. I want to do it with the kids. And since we can't, I don't really care. So he did his taste of diet ice cream and she's cooking again. So it's in his inventory. So why don't you come in here and why don't we open and grab part of that grand meal? Because so, you're hungry now. And we will take this and we will add that garnish. <laughs> strawberries and set topping of chocolate sauce which is what I always do with it <laughs> and so you're eating that so we'll just put that back in the fridge for now so it doesn't spoil and they may eat it autonomously anyways so he should get that done his grand meal tradition done and I'm surprised you're not getting your decorating done. <laughs> With all this decorating you're doing, you're not getting the decorating done. You've got all the, uh, you've got this one, which is uh, festive spirit because you had the kids. So it makes it easier when you have kids to do that, I find. So why don't we decorate, add a tree skirt. That one. And then maybe we'll add a present and then maybe we'll try opening presents with everybody. I find the only time this doesn't run out of batteries is when you're doing the 24 hours stream. It'll last the whole time, but other time, otherwise it obviously runs out all the time. Oh no, we don't want you making messes. You're busy eating, so we're going to come here and... Parenting, discipline, firm, express disappointment for making a mess. And you got your grand meal done, good. Can you finish? All oh, right, you did. So now we're going to encourage her to clean up that mess. Why does it take so long to probably put it, put this, in reality, you should put the tree skirt underneath first. Can you not even see it or she's still doing it? She's still doing it. It's just taking forever. <laughs> We don't even need to light the tree, which is a bit dangerous because sometimes it starts a fire. Oh, he's he's boogied out. And how are your needs, sweetheart? You kind of need to go potty and need a bath. So why don't why don't we have Daddy potty train you some more so that we can? And I see something is bad in the fridge again. So we are going to take the we're going to figure out what's bad and get rid of it. So that it doesn't get eaten. Though she wasn't actually taking spoiled food out. It wasn't spoiled when it was in the fridge. It became spoiled really just like right as soon as it came out. Because it was close to being spoiled. So we'll leave the stuff in there. Well, in some ways we should probably just take this out. Because um, throw it away. Because <laughs> it's so close to being spoiled anyways. And now you can't do anything. So why don't you come here and see if we can. We'll encourage her cleaning up the mess that she did. And can we, we'll do another belly laugh and then we'll, why don't we add, okay, we have to actually be on the presents. We're going to add presents. Oh good, it's in the, res it's in a range <laughs> for being responsible. And we'll wait for the potty training to be done. And as soon as the potty training is done, then we'll try and open some presents with everybody and see whether they can get that part done for the kids because otherwise they may not have the best winter fest because they know they can't ask father winter for anything i just like to add lots of presents <laughs> make that present pile grow and i find also if you add more presents then it's it tends to look nice even when you open it but it doesn't matter it's going to go into our family inventory because we're going to put everything back that belongs here still waiting for fabian to be finished and I don't know if I want to add the garland. It's just taking so long. Um, so, let's see. What are your skills? You are a level 3 of gourmet cooking and you've maxed your cooking. Or you're going to, you're just, you know, I was thinking she was about to use the ice cream maker, but the butler wasn't going to use it. She was doing something else. Well, I guess now that he's awake, we can rearrange this room a little bit. Though the bad would have to go, I guess, sticking out this way. Oh, he earned some money on his holiday. But then again, it's probably fine just to leave it as it is until, you know, 
for now. <laughs> for now, because it's going to be a temporary arrangement anyways. Okay, so they are finished. So we are going to try and add a present. And then we're going to open presents with, essentially, I'm not going to extend everybody because I'm already struggling. I don't know how well the uh, those in the house are even going to respond. So I'm not going to ask the rest just because of that. If we have success and we can open the presents around the tree, then maybe I'll ask the rest of them because it won't matter so much. So let's see. Oh, he has to go to the bathroom. You, I guess, can go. Hopefully that doesn't interfere with everybody else opening their presents. You don't really need to be part of this because I can control you. Okay, so she got, what did she get? Oh, she got an element. <laughs> So she got that part done. Oh, it looks like at least Fleur is going to get it done. Can you get... Oh, look, it's got sparkles, so that means it'll be something good. She got a flea market bubble bottle. It's funny, they get really upset when they get the um, the future cube, but it's, like, worth more than either of these two things. Oh, he got sparkles, too. Good. Oh, he got a violin. <laughs> You're a little bit too young for that. And uh, did Fred open a present? No, he didn't. So... You're dancing. Why don't you come here? Oh, he's opening. Okay, good. Yay, and he got sparkles too. He got a toy. Okay, so we're going to add a present, or is he going to actually come in and open his present? He is, so he did. is going to participate even though he stopped and went to the bathroom. Yay, they all got it! And he got a postcard. <laughs> Uh, and because we've already opened our presents, we can. It actually isn't based on the, uh, I think I remember that. And look, there were so many of them opening the presents. It all, it all collapsed down to nothing. <laughs> and now it's back to being a nice pile. And let's make it bigger. For fun. I always like opening presents. So where, so Father Winter doesn't come till I think 8 p.m. So he's not going to be here. He's not going to get here, I don't think, for this part. Because I think that this part has gone on long enough. But I think, let's take a quick look. I think they all have had successful Winterfests regardless of whether the fact that they're not going to be able to ask for anything from Father Winter. I do see he is... He is very tired. So we'll probably have to put him to bed anyways. But... I'll probably just do that off camera and have him in bed before the next part starts. But that is going to be it for this part. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.